one still actually here a little bit. Lisa Kelly was worried she'd be scarred forever after an anti-wrinkle procedure went wrong, resulting in painful lumps that stayed for months. The one here um, swelled up a lot. It was kind of like purple. With the sun on my face, it was just swelling and very painful. This one here, um, when it was first there, it kind of blocked my vision a bit. It really made me insecure. Obviously, for work, I go to client meetings and I just felt really like I didn't want to go. This is just one story of an increasing number. In the UK, you don't need any medical qualifications or training to administer cosmetic injections, no matter how little experience you have. New figures from Safe Face, a government-approved injectables register, show that complaints about unlicensed practitioners have risen by 25% over the last two years. 91% of those who complained to the register about their botched treatment found their injector on social media, while 30% said they believed they'd been given a product that claimed to be Botox but wasn't. Because they're so trivialised on social media, people assume that they are beauty treatments, risk-free beauty treatments, and they're not. They're medical interventions. Medics are worried. Dr Davina Wilson is reversing five to ten procedures a week. She's seeing an increasing number of young women dealing with serious complications and side effects that can include nerve damage and a risk of blindness. So if you don't have an intricate understanding of facial anatomy, you're really going in blind using sharp needles in areas that can cause irreversible damage. The British Beauty Council said they hope the government will commit to introducing a licensing scheme for higher risk aesthetic treatments and the Department of Health said they plan to publish the results from their consultation on this in the spring. Those I've spoken to agree that tighter regulation needs to be injected into an industry with so little room for error. (laughs) 